First name John, J-O-H-N, last name Kish. I am a horticulturist who owns an indoor plant shop. It's kind of crazy because again, I'm just being myself and I'm just being a dork and I literally just think I'm being a kid playing with plants because I love it. Once I really started coming into my own in my late 20s, then I really knew what I wanted to do and that was start this plant shop. I started with $200 in, the, in a bundle of plants in the back of my Subaru and now here I am in three years. It's attached to a theater that we're building, so a plant shop theater is not been done before as much as I know and, and here I am creating my two favorite things in this world. By me living through my shop, so my shop is an extension of who I am, uh, I think attracts people and I, as uh, part of the queer community, also theatrical arts, I think uh, I, I draw a lot of attention from people that are in that or that want to express that and that art form. I kind of branch out and I'm a very loud business because I'm theatrical and that's just what I do. I think my biggest joy is honestly educating and spreading greenery. So getting to talk to a person one on one, really building that rapport and helping them problem solve what plant would be best for them. I always was pretty good at retail, not to toot my own horn, but like I just was. I like talking to people, I like being genuine, and I like honestly finding stuff for them to purchase to be happy. And so I'm good at that. And so it makes sense for me to do that. You don't have to own a business. You don't have to go that route. But there's just so many things you could do within the entrepreneurial spirit and realm that I think you can find your level. People are always like, why do we have to learn math in high school and middle school? It's never going to be used in adult life. And I'm like, ah. I feel like there's just so many things in your life that you end up doing as a business owner just because there's so many facets that come into it. I mean, I really wish I knew how to do more electrical because I do so much electrical. I wish I knew more languages because we have so many customers that come in speaking different languages. You need to know how to do screen printing if you want to do your own shirt. I even wrote a kid's book that I published a couple years ago. So I don't think anything ever goes to waste. I think any education is good education. If you don't know who you are, how are you expected to then treat others with kindness or with love or with whatever they need? Uh, because I think you're so clouded by not knowing who you are. So I think that's my biggest advice. If you're gonna pursue any type of passion or career that you're passionate about or start your own business and represent yourself, I really think you need to know who you are. If you do that, your career or how you make money or what you do in your life or how you live in this world, I think will fall into place. And you'll do what you're meant to do. I honestly believe that.